A bill signed into law today threatens to shut down internet cafes and arcades here on the Sun Coast. As SNN Local News reporter Amber Stidham explains, this stems from a scandal involving former Florida Lieutenant Governor Jennifer Carroll and a veterans organization. Earlier Wednesday afternoon, Governor Rick Scott signed a bill making internet cafes and gaming centers illegal. We spoke to several owners and patrons who are pretty upset. I'm just lucky at this game. But Kathy Austin may not feel so lucky now. Governor Rick Scott signed a bill Wednesday afternoon that bans internet cafes. A move that is guaranteed to put an estimated 14,000 people out of a job statewide. Fun Center Arcade Assistant Manager Larry O'Neill is fearing the worst for his customers and his family. Hopefully I won't lose my house. I only work here part time. I'm, I'm disabled too. But I mean, that's my food. It's my bread and butter. Because I get bored just reading. This is relaxing to sit and do this. You have good days and you have bad days. And I have more good days than I do bad days. The new law stems from the recent state and federal investigation into illegal gambling at the internet cafes run by allied veterans. Local owner of one gaming center who did not want to go directly on camera says it won't just hurt the employees, but will have a trickle down effect on other businesses. It's all the vendors we do business with, the Cisco's, the Sam's Club, local beer and wine distributors, all of those people and their employees as well are going to be impacted. We spend thousands of dollars a year with those companies. You don't end up going broke playing it. You know, you just play what you can. It's just a lot of fun. Local law enforcement agencies are waiting to become more familiar with the law before ramping up the enforcement. We're going to lose everything. Several of the patrons that we spoke to were very emotional, saying that this also impacts their bottom line. One woman we spoke to says she actually uses her winnings to pay her electric bill. Reporting in Sarasota County, I'm Amber Stidham, SNN Local News. Again, all of this stems from an investigation into former Lieutenant Governor Jennifer Carroll and her connection to illegal internet cafes tied to a veterans organization.